Because those cops were cowards and those kids were braver than the cops. At about the 20 minute mark, there was a call from Chloe Torres. Chloe said, we're in here, we're in here. Come get us. And no, uh, no help came. Thank God Chloe made it. Some of her friends didn't make it. And here's the sad part about all of this. What would have happened if they'd have done their job? They didn't kill these kids, I get that. What would have happened if they'd have gone in at minute 12? How many kids would be alive today? They all need to explain themselves to us. There was a memo that was exposed by one of the agencies, one of the news stories, an internal memo with DPS, where Steve McCraw says, relax. No one's going to get fired over this. There's been no accountability at this agency. One man they said was fired was allowed to retire. On the other Texas Ranger, they said they fired is still on the payroll, $100,000 later sitting on his couch. Steve McCall will tell me, well, that's because the DA's investigation isn't done yet. You all heard in that leaked story several months ago where more than one, more than two, and more than five cops uttered about that gun. These cops were afraid of that gun. They don't have the decency and the fortitude to go into that building in Dawson or into the halls of Washington as law enforcement and say, do something about this gun because it's a killer. It's a killer of kids. It's a killer of human beings. It's a war rifle and nothing more. I have a whole lot of guns and I fired that one. Most powerful gun I've ever fired. We need to do something about this for sure.